in a moment when the Mayor gets back to the platform, we're going to uh, present certificates and badges for the first honoured citizens that Lyme Regis have ever created. It's about 32 people and they're being honoured in this way to mark this celebration for exemplary uh, work and service to their favourite or one of their organisations or one of the town organisations so over us that now to present uh, the uh, certificates and the badges for the honoured citizens. And this is in no order. So honoured citizens, we know who you are. Uh, if you just like to come out and receive your certificates. First of all, for 65 years service to the Royal British Legion, the last 25 as chairman, Cecil Quick. including a period of uh, chairmanship nominated by Lime Regis Operatic Society, Martin Kendrick, we know him as Bob, Bob Kendrick. We know one of our residents who over a number of years, for 60 or more years, has, uh, has served many organisations in her time, her husband is an MBE. She's been nominated by the Lime Regis Get Together Club. You know what they say, behind every good man there's a good woman. And this is a wonderful woman. Will Reed. <laughs> One of our principal events, summer events in Lime Regis is the annual regatta and carnival. We're now going to honour a young man who has served that organisation under very difficult circumstances for many years. We're very proud to bestow, to bestow honour citizenship uh, nominated by the Regatta and Carnival, Mike Crow. Again, the biggest event of its kind on the southwest of the, on the south coast, having raised tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds over the years. This couple, man and wife, those of you who are local, those of you who are regular visitors to the town, will recognise them immediately. They have put in tremendous service both to the both to the RNLI Guild uh, and the Regatta and Carnival in collecting thousands of pounds over the years. Would you please welcome? Two new honoured citizens, Brenda and Gilbert Tankoff. The most unusual summer activity in this town, and it takes place every two or three years, is Candles on the Cob. I'm pleased to tell you that back on the weekend in August, we will be staging it again. And it is the most wonderful sight. 5,000 candles on the Cob raises a huge amount of money. We're now going to honour one of the founder members. Um, uh, he's uh, our assistant harbour master, very popular in the town. His partner in crime, I'm afraid, can't be here. He's in France enjoying himself. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause, please, for Mike Higgs. We have one somebody who is giving years and years of service to Lyme Regis Museum. Unfortunately, she can't be here today. We're going to honour Liz Ann Borden with honour citizenship, but her daughter Belinda is going to receive it on her behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, for Liz Ann Borden, nominated by Lyme Regis Community, it's had a very lively and a very successful and a very popular junior band. They're going through a period of retraining their youngsters. Unfortunately, um, we were not able to have them in our parade today, but I understand that it won't be very long before the junior band will be back entertaining the crowds of Lyme Regis. And one person who has given magnificent service to that organisation, nominated by Lyme Regis Junior Band, please give your applause for Julia Durrant. Club is the most successful junior football club in Dorset, despite the fact we only have a resident population of three and a half thousand. And the reason is, it is like that. This year we've had the most successful season ever, winning five trophies. The reason for that is that we have a wonderful new setup, and most of the players that now play for that senior side, and I think when the when the procession started off, the lads were carrying some of those trophies. It's because we have a wonderful youth section and somebody who has worked her socks off for that youth section raising money over the years is Nikki Levin. Ladies and gentlemen, nominated by Lyman Football Club for the youth section, Nikki Levin. 
be the smartest man in the parade today. He's the guy that puts up the Christmas trees every year. He's also he's also our local fire chief. He's been nominated by Library Reader's Christmas Night Virtual Summit. We now have another local person, a former mayor of this town, who has supported and worked for numerous organisations over the years. The Brindle sessions in this town were run by the Royal British Legion for 45 years. And unfortunately, when they came up, came up it looked like it, perhaps it might have to, to, to fold. It's actually a really good social thing, especially for the elder people of the town, and it raises a lot of money. So nominated by Lyme Regis Community Bingos Association, we're now going to present an honoured citizenship to Michaela Ellis. The youth organisations in this town feature strongly in this, in, in this initiative. There hasn't been a more exciting new organisation in Lyme Regis from a youth point of view, uh, for many, many years. And recently, the founder and runner of this organization was honored by being uh, invited to Buckingham Palace along with a co colleague, nominated by B Sharp, the young people's music group who are so talented. Would you please welcome Fran Williams. extensive arts community. There is a wonderful exhibition, 60 artists for 60 years down at the town mill and also up in one of the community rooms, the one on my left, on your right, there is a great um, uh, 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 initiative which is going on throughout the whole of this uh, weekend where you can have your royal portrait taken, uh, arts fest with Woodruff School, Macy Hill the photographer. But we have an art group in this town which has been going for 40 years. Um, they, they, they present exhibitions of a very high standard uh, indeed. And one person who has been at the fore of that organisation for many years, honoured citizenship, nominated by Light Regis Art Group, Edna Dorrington. Having recently, one of their members was uh, honoured with life membership for over 60, for over 60 uh, years of service as a player, as a helper, as a committee member. He organises the annual uh, twinning ar uh, arrangement with a club in France which is unique uh, in local football. He is Mr. Lyme Regis Football Club, Kenneth Hitchcock. great deal about the Big Society. Those of you who are locals will know that the Big Society has been going on in this town for many, many years. We have a number of community groups who pick up some of it and run with some of the projects which are just not possible in small towns to finance today. At the forefront of that sort of initiative is Lime Forward and at the forefront of that organisation is, is a woman who puts in a tremendous amount of uh, activity and help and support for the youngsters of this town. We honour now Audrey Vivian. <laughs> the Mayor and, um, and one of our, our, pe our Chelsea pensioners, Stan, who's a bit of a keen bowler, they're going down to uh, open the Jubilee Tournament and bowl the first wood. Somebody who has been connected with Lyme Regis Bowls Club for many years. Those of you who have visited the Bowls Club is in Monmouth Beach, the other side of the lifeboat, of the lifeboat station. One of the best greens named after Charlie Mercer, a former British champion from the 1960s. One of the people who has been at the forefront of this organisation, as a stalwart of this organisation, Patricia Cole. too old to learn and that is certainly the case in Lyme Regis. Over the years, a new organisation, well when I say years it's been going a long time now, the University of the Third Age, we have a most uh, extensive and comprehensive youth 3A uh, providing activities and new experiences and learning courses for our senior citizens and in fact not just the senior citizens and somebody who has worked extremely hard to establish that organisation for many years but in hundreds of hours of work would you please welcome for honoured citizenship to Mary Bohane part in the, citizens, in the community life of Lyme Regis, but this is not just a football town, it's also a cricket town as well. And one of the most uh, uh, talented cricketers uh, that um, play locally 
who has gone on to serve his club with distinction and has recently been honoured with the President's uh, see of that particular club, nominated by Oplime and Lime Regis Cricket Club. Honour citizenship goes to Derek Wellman. <laughs> the concert tonight will see the Woodmead Halls, which is one of the finest community halls in Dorset, with one of the best facilities. And would you believe we won a prize for the best toilets in England? <laughs> The halls are run voluntarily by a management committee and one person who served on that management committee in many capacities for a long time and works extremely hard. Uh, the halls are looked after completely by volunteers. We know him as Jim. His real name is Cecil. Ladies and gentlemen, all the citizenship goes to Cecil Sweetland. A young man who came to this town many years ago to teach geography. I probably think he didn't expect to stay long, but he stayed for years and years and years. He's a legend in his own lifetime among the ex-pupils of the Woodruff School. He's the head of the sixth form. He's been nominated by uh, what is known as the usual suspects of the Woodruff School. And that's all those that failed their A-levels, I understand. <laughs> On the certificate, we put the Woodruff School ex-students. He's been a supporter of community events, particularly Lifeboat, over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, honoured citizenship goes to James Thomas. Many of you will know that Lime has a twin association with St George's in Bermuda. Most people do just well, but Lime does Bermuda. And uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful arrangement. And of course we have, the reason for that is that we have a great uh, connection. The former Mayor Sir George Summers, uh, was shipwrecked on, on Bermuda and uh, you know, working behind the scenes doing the administration for all those years and not only that, she's just about to retire as the Mayor's Secretary after 31 years uh, service and I can tell you as an ex-Mayor, being the Mayor's Secretary is not a pleasant job <laughs> or an easy one, uh, no offence Madam Mayor uh, so, nominated by the Lyme Reason St George's Twin Association, and we should give her a special round of applause for her service to the town council as well, over 30 years. The Craig brothers only got that amount, and she's done 31. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Stamp. It's one of the most respected of its kind on the south coast, and it's one of the town's oldest organisations. Somebody who has worked tirelessly for that organisation, um, and we're going to honour him today. Please welcome Honour Citizenship, uh, nominated by Lime Regis Sailing Club, Colin Waters. This particular person is someone uh, who has raised and uh, kept an organisation in this town going for a long time. I have to say, without the recognition that he or the organisation deserves, because they do such good work on a national and international basis. Nominated by the Save the Children Fund, on the citizenship goes to John Duncan. Uh, an eye on how this town develops and has played an important part in how the town has developed over the years. It has huge respect in the town, has huge influence, and this one person not only supports and has worked hard for this organisation, but many more in the town. Honoured Citizen Goes, nominated by the Lyme Regis Society to Bernard Spencer. It's been very much part of the social and entertainment scene of this town for many years and somebody who has been connected it, with it for a long time and, and in fact tonight is stage manager of our concert party from Lyme Regis Dramatic Society. The honour citizenship goes to Jackie Hedley Tuff. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, if you put your hands together for the very first 31 honour citizens of Lyme Regis.